Welcome back. Here we are. Episode 11 of The Ballad of Wyatt Holiday. My name is Joshua, and I know sometimes playing these single-player RPG games can be a bit lonely or isolating, so if you ever feel those feelings creeping up, feel free to put on this video or any other video in this series or any series I do, and you can consider yourself to be gaming with a friend. What are we playing today? I am going to be playing, believe it or not, Starfield. Um, where we last left off, Wyatt, in episode 10 here, has finally joined the Freestar Rangers. We did a bit of a miscellaneous quest for them. I, I guess you would call it a radiant quest, something off their mission board. And now we are getting our first official uh, step on that path there. Where we left off, I believe it was Emma Wilcox was giving us a mission uh, at the request of Marshal Daniel Blake. And he was telling us... Um, or she was telling us that we need to go to Monterra Luna as somebody, last name Wagoner, I believe, uh, from a farm family on that planet, was saying someone was trying to take the farm. So it's going to be up to Wyatt, Miss Wilcox, and I believe we have Sam Coe with us. So it's going to be up to us to find out what's going on there. So why don't we load into the game and see what we can do. Happy Wednesday, by the way. Just a couple more days until the weekend, baby. We are almost there. We are almost there. It's a couple more days till Friday. So, let's uh, see if we... Okay, let's see if we can talk to her and gather any extra information. Get whatever you need for the trip to Monterra Luna. Is there anything I should do to prepare? Nothing much, really. Maybe stock up on ammunition in case things get rough. And where are we headed? We're going to a farm on Monterra Luna. That's the moon that orbits the planet Montera in the Cheyenne system. Okay, cool. So we're going to stay in in uh, this system, so that's good. A farmer asked us for help. She says that someone's trying to take her land. We're going to pay her a visit and find out exactly what's going on. Sorry, I just asked. What's the mission again? See you. Now, is there... I wonder if there's anywhere here... In this place where we... Oh, let's talk to the Pay marshal. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Good luck out there. Guess we're done here. Yeah, we'll talk to the marshal another time. But there's three of us here, so... I think we should be A-OK. -okay. I wonder if there's a store here, Better though. There is than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. Oh, shit. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the boot. Lady, I hate to break it to you, but you are the boot. Let's hide the spacesuit because I just kind of want to look at our ranger here. Oh, yeah. Look at Wyatt with his big ass ears. Big ears and a big iron. So, this is kind of a cool little place. Yeah, the rock is kind of a neat little place. Even though no matter what, uh, no matter what happens in my life, um, I will always consider the rock to be the fortress monastery of the Dark Angels of the Space Marines, not necessarily the home of the Free Star Rangers. Which I probably shouldn't mention. Loyalist Space Marines, as my brother is over there painting my traitor guardsmen the for me. Things get dicey. Asta are no joke. In for us. I'll have to get a picture of them up here on the screen, but. He's painting some traitor guards for me, and they are looking real sick. And also, uh, as I'm playing this, uh, just before I loaded this game up, you know, I went to it, seemed, uh, this ain't exactly it seemed it uh, seemed Starfield had an update today. I wanted to say something more comprehensive about it, but I read the fucking thing, and I didn't know what any of it meant, if I could be, like, completely honest. I'd love to sit here and talk, uh, technical details with you all, but uh, I don't know what any of that shit means. Much to my chagrin, I, I wish I understood it better. But man, I know I usually have the spacesuit on, but... I'm like that little deputy outfit, man, even though Wyatt is one fucking ugly, ugly bastard. But we're looking slick. 
We got a little vested, some khakis, a ball cap. I mean, there's, there's a lot to love here. There is a lot to love here. Alright. I have, Dad. I want to be as good a co pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, Strippy. I'm proud of you. What do you say we get you a new outfit? It's your last still here, Dad. And I love it. Now, a new book. Alright, so we're going to be heading to the moon, Monterra Luna, here in the Cheyenne system. We'll be taking our POS frontier so with us. Up here. We're in orbit. God, man. This is just not a good ship. So let's see where it is. And this is uh, the planet Aquila that we're at. So that's we're heading over there. To Monterra Luna. Is there a settlement there? I... I Wellish. And there's like settlements here on Kodos and Bindi. Huh. Well, let's travel on to Monterra Luna and head to the Wagoner farm. Let's see what we find. Okay, Captain. Approaching ship. You've entered Freestar Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. You wanna scan me for contraband? I'm a damn ranger. And that's it. You're cleared to land. I'm holding this for evidence. Alright, let's land somewhere near the wagon or farm here. I gotta say, very, very excited. I've been wanting to do the Freestar that Rangers sense, for a long good. time. So, the fact that we're finally here and embarking on this quest line, even though the mission that we did last time was just a radiant quest, this is still... For me, for me, very, very exciting. Get the hell out of that seat, lady. This ain't your ship. Three Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. This is a tough lesbian. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Hmm. Well, this is definitely interesting. So let's ask, how many men were there? There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Hmm. Any reason someone might want this farm in particular? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. <laughs> and you said they look like soldiers? That's right. The uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who are used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Well, if they're planning on coming back, they must be somewhere nearby. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. That's now, fair. let's go and check out those canyons. Let's move quick and steady. Heads on a swivel. Glad hey. to have you along, Sam. Hey, that was Keep cool. Keep your eyes open. 
So, why don't we ask, what do you think of Miss Wagoner's story? It seems strange that a group of soldiers would try to run a farmer off a struggling farm. Yeah, I was thinking that too. We just need to find these men and ask them very politely to explain what they're up to. Hmm. Why would soldiers be out here? Beats the hell out of me. Can't imagine any reason for the Free Star Militia to be on Montero Luna. Of course, the fact that they look like soldiers doesn't necessarily mean they are. Well, how do we find these men? We need to check the canyons behind the Wagoner farm. If they were dressed like soldiers, they probably had boots on. That means we're looking for boot tracks. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Hey, good to see you. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else later. to say, but... This is, uh... Someone says like that. She's like, oh, these are soldiers. They would be wearing boots. We're looking for boot tracks. This is how I know I'd be completely useless in a real survival or criminal situation. Like, if I was a free star ranger in real life, I'd I'd probably work at the front desk. I'll say that much. I'd be the free star rangers against supply guy. I'd just be the dude inventorying their damn bullets. Okay. Quiet out here. I like it. Nice change of pace from Aquila City. Oh, heads on a swivel, like Sam said. Definitely don't want to get caught by no sniper. I don't know, you know, I don't know if that'll happen. But. But we also don't want a bungle. Oh, I grew up on a farm. Back when I was a kid, I used to love exploring and making maps. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into every nook and cranny. Oh. Sidelines here are terrible. Anything could be ahead, or behind for that matter. Admittedly, her talking about exploring and making maps, something my brother and I were doing a couple days ago. Not necessarily making maps, but we were kind of on the coastline where I live out in South Florida, and we found an abandoned boat. And, uh... We definitely illegally trespassed and said abandoned boat. Totally worth it. So let's check here. Whoa! There. Oh, there's like no gravity here. It's point three. Shit, man. If they want to shoot that thing, go ahead. Oh, you have to examine the tracks. I See, I broke out my scanner hoping to do something like that, but it didn't happen. I didn't see nothing. Alright, so let's do this again. Hopefully Ranger Wilcox will pop up. I swear I tried to do something, or I looked for something like this. Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was stupid. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that, because I could barely hear that, but all I heard was not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. So, I will say I do appreciate Sam Coe being a former Freestar Ranger, how he has input, and uh, the other Ranger here, uh, Miss Emma Wilcox, actually uh, brings it up. I see him saying, please tell me his target price. I just fucked that bug up, dude. Come on, Sam, beat its ass. Why 
Where's Ranger Wilcox? Good eye, Deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. You know, I, I don't like that there's these hostile bug creatures around. We're supposed to be moving real quiet like looking for these damn soldiers and uh, here we are just shooting up bugs in the canyon. Like any anybody like experience is gonna find us. There's a dead settler. Tough break, farmer. Hopefully whatever got them doesn't get us. Yeah, well, I'm right there with you. Watch it! Yeah, it's dead. Be ready for any. Take care. Okay. This planet being 0.3 gravity isn't so bad. I kind of like that. It's making these uh, this little canyon section really, really fun. Gotta say, I don't hate that. Oh shit. So there's a mine here. We avoided it just barely. We're gonna have to uh, really be uh, aware. Now, as somebody that plays the Death Core of Krieg in uh, 40k, uh, you would expect me to want to uh, I'm totally happy just stepping on a mine, but not really my jam in Starfield. And I am low, low, low on bullets. Look out! I'm gonna let these two finish these bugs off. I don't know why I can't scan that. Maybe it's already been scanned? I don't know. Man, that is an impossible mineral to mine, apparently. So let's look at these. Tracks turn left. They definitely passed this way. Let's just hope they're not pushed up on these tiny walls. Waiting a sniper. Hey! Get medieval. Move, move! Holy shit, man. Ranger Wilcox. Just going in with that blade there, man. She's a fucking thug. But yeah, let's... That would be, uh... I guess if you had a sniper crack shot on your team, this would be a... What's a Lieutenant Aldo Rain's line when he's talking about nice that? Nice to get out under the sky for a spell. What's that line? This would be a Being goddamn a sniper's delight. As I used to. Oh, she's a mother. Oh, hey, we learned some new lore about Ranger Wilcox. She's a parent. So that's cool. That's fun. All you. I'm just waiting for the inevitable. You think being a ranger is tough? Try being a mama. A Whoa. Here. Oh my gosh, dude! She's just going in there with a freaking pocket knife, man. She, this is madness. Oh, 
That's called an Octo Maggot? That thing is huge. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, he packs quite a little punch. <laughs> oh my god! She just stabbed it and it went flying. Like, let's look at this thing. This is probably... This has got to be like 800 pounds. Give me one second. Yo, Brian. Come here real quick. Look at this fucking thing. How much do you think that weighs? I mean... Here's here's my guy for comparison. Probably like two tons. Dude, this chick hit that thing with a pocket knife and it went flying. I mean, I mean, show, show your character again. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's like. Uh, I mean now. Now the gravity on this world is like point three, so I mean we we're capable of some pretty amazing things. But I don't think her hit stabbing that bad boy with a pocket knife is going to do too much. Bro, fucking, dude, she drinking nothing but just muscle milk and fucking raw creatine. She's like, you don't understand. I'm holding water in my arms. Just fucking. You're a natural tracker. Well, I wouldn't really nothing natural about the tracking I'm doing, Ranger Wilcox. Also, I don't know. Is Constellation's best friend. I don't know much about geology, but I have a feeling that cobalt, aluminum, and nickel do not all form in the same rock. I mean, would you say that's pretty fair? You're a man of science. You have a degree. Well, I'm. Mm, I'm not. It's out here, the laws of physics are more like the suggestions of physics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are the suggestions of. Oh shit! Oh! I am so glad that those mines only hurt me a little bit. All right, we got another set of tracks down here that we need to check out. Huh? Let's see. Go farther into the ravine. I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. Ah oh, shit. Alright. Sounds like there's some shooting going on up there, so we're gonna be real careful. Times ahead. Stay frosty. Sam, get your fucking head down. Can you get a moment? Can we talk? Oh my god, is that what you're Shut up! Sounds like there's someone maybe doing a little target practice. That don't concern you. If the Rangers get in our way, then they get what they deserve. That's all you need to know. Uh oh. Oh shit, I have a feeling this is going to end in violence. So, why don't we be a little preemptive here? My health, I don't really need it, but we're going to take a we're going to take a med pack. We got a couple to spare. So, let's get our heal on. These definitely look like soldiers. Like some tough ones too. Like that looks like some heavy combat armor from uh well, from Fallout. Let's just get on out and talk. We're gonna have some fun. Oh man. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. A firefight here could get messy. Some good old-fashioned talking might be the ticket. It's not a bad idea, Sam. So, we're gonna say, what do you want with Wagoner Farm? Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. 
But that ain't none of your business. Well, let's say, who are you? Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. Okay, so he's saying the Major. So there, I'm guessing there's some kind of a military outfit, former military outfit. But I'm going to say, I'm not going anywhere. Not until I get some answers. We came here to do a job, so let's do it. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. Oh, hey so, now. Got any last words I should try to remember? Okay. We've got a... Uh... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's try to de-escalate. Let's use uh, some of Sam's tactics from the Gal Bank robbery. Let's just say this doesn't need to get violent. Oh, I think it does. Oh, I think it doesn't. Shit. Alright, we got one. Two. Three. Alright, we still got the ruffian leader. He look... Yeah, he's got a... Oh my god, Ranger Wilcox, you're you fucking savage. Alright, let's uh... We got him. He's dead. Dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is probable. He had a note on him, I think, called Jobs Done. So why don't we go check that out. It says, My contact on the inside came through, and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. Hey, we've been to Hope Town. I'll drop it off at the agreed-upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships jacked, let me know. I'm always looking for work. So these guys are involved in a lot more than than just trying to steal land. They're also stealing ships from Hope Tech. So, uh, Ranger Wilcox wants to talk, but I say we. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Yeah, Sam, gotcha, buddy. I wanna get some some junk from these from these people. This guy didn't even get a shot off, nor did he. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought these guys were going to be a lot tougher than they actually were, but I suppose I... Looks like things are... I've uh, got some stuff in my mind when you have the time. Yeah, Sam. Jesus, buddy. Oh, man. They got a little moonshine station here. This takes me back. Not to making moonshine, but... A lot of hillbillies drank that where I grew up. And they got a little ship here, too. A watchdog. I wonder if we can take it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, so let's... Head on out this way. Let's, let's talk to Ranger Wilcox. Eventually. Find anything interesting? All right. So let's uh, show her the slate and say, "Take a look at this." Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting. So their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Seems so. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagner know that she's safe, for now. Yeah, well, let's talk to Sam real quick. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Oh, sheesh. Well, kids know how to push all the right buttons. Speaking as a somebody who was a kid myself. <laughs> That's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you, but Cora wasn't exactly planned. 
I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Hmm. Had a partner, Lillian Hart. Well, we were like fire and ice, but uh, well, it wasn't all bad. Evidently so. So why don't we ask, how did you wind up being a ranger, of all things? Well, it wasn't by choice. It was a lousy fit. Maybe someday I'll get into it. I'm just happy I found Constellation. Best damn organization in the settled systems, you ask me. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to say it that way, but, you know, whether you wanted to be a dad or not, you seem to have taken to it. It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah. And where was Lillian during this? Well, Mrs. Lillian Coe was right there with me. And as bad as I had it with nursing at all hours, I know I had it comparatively easy. But that don't mean those first few months were good by any stretch of the imagination. Well, let's just say that uh, Cora's lucky to have you. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. Hmm. And there's something you said to me about parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's that's what haunts me. I've uh, I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but is she going to fall into the same traps? Is your past really that bad? Well, it's bad enough. Let me put it that way. Oh, that's fair. I have a feeling, though, she'll find her very own mistakes. Well, ain't that a drop of sunshine. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. Hey, don't be mean to Vlad. I like Vladimir. There really isn't anyone else that could take her? No, not really. Lillian and me don't have any siblings. We'd have to start looking into really extended family for other relations. I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to anyway. Looking after Cora. That's not something I want to pawn off on someone. Oh, well, that's fair. I think Cora's thriving growing up with Constellation. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Well, that's fair. So. So far, so good, training. All right. So we're going to head back to the uh, Wagoner farm now, after having that little heart-to-heart -heart with Sam Co. And let, uh, let uh, Miss Wagoner know that her farm is at least safe for now. We've managed to uh, get rid of these ruffians, and I'd say that's uh, a step in the right direction. Even though I feel like we are just taking the first step on this uh, path here. And... For the life of me, I cannot ever get a 7.5 round. So, let's head back through the canyon here. Alright. Definitely going up. Okay, yeah. There's these big ass bugs. I had to call in my bug guy to look at. Gotta tell you, the bug guy, not cheap. Oof. But good thing is he can't hear me. He's too busy watching League of Legends or some shit. Isn't that right, bug guy? See? Alright. Oh! Damn, there's a spacer up here. What the hell? And we just found ourselves a little modified maelstrom. 
Oh, med pack. Hey, that's that med pack I used earlier. Ain't that nice. Oh. This one I already scanned. Cool. absolutely love being on low gravity worlds man it just this is like a this canyon section is really really cool just like it's it's very naturally beautiful looking i mean like look at this this is crazy i wish i was seeing this during the day but the fact that like you kind of have these cliffs with these uh areas you can grapple onto and you can still kind of boost pack through here it's just it's it's the bee's knees it's the bee's knees. I can harvest this, but I can't scan it. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well there's the frontier, so we're back at the farm. We'll let our no we'll let our lady who prefers the company of ladies know. So we're just gonna legally trespass in your home real quick, ma'am. And uh annoy you. Should just knock on the door, but whatever. What happened? Did you find those men? Yeah, they were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. Goddamn right. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Know anything about a stolen Hope Tech starship? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. Well, we don't know. They wouldn't talk then. So I have no way of knowing if there aren't more coming. Guess I'll start sleeping with a gun nearby. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Well, just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, Deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the Marshal. That we do. Well, hey. 6,800 credits. And her saying she needs to sleep with a gun, I feel like in Freestar space, that's not... That's probably not the worst thing. It's actually a cool looking little farm here. Um, it, it looks like it actually looks like a farm. But it actually kind of has a cool sci-fi aesthetic to it. That's actually kind of neat. I really like that. I think, like, visually, this mission has actually been quite fun. So let's get, uh... Ready for what comes next. Yep, so... You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. just poorly rendered. That's bad. I can fucking see the equator. Yikes. 
Uh, well, we're not gonna. We're gonna travel there first, obviously, to Aquila. I want to have as many loading screens as possible. <clears throat> I'm on that maximum loading screen grind. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Let's uh, land down in Aquila City and let's head to the Rock and go report what we found to the Marshal, Daniel Blake. Gosh, man. No matter how much I say the Rock, I know I keep saying it, and I'm sorry, but I just keep thinking of the Dark Angels. Because when I go to the Rock, I shouldn't be reporting to Daniel Blake. I should be reporting to Chapter Master Azrael or Primarch Lionel Johnson. Jeez. Oh, yeah. My man, a dang deputy. Bonjour. Bonjour. I know your type. The free wheel in space ace. You ever hear that one about the nice. orphan and the platypus? <laughs> Funny stuff. I uh, can't. Pretty stuff living here. But. Live on your own I was really hoping um, they'd have some unique dialogue. You know, me being a ranger and all. But that's all right. Aquila is really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Hello, Helga. These rangers are some hard-blooded. I'm proud. If you're looking for the rangers, check the upper levels or the cantina. Not everyone gets to say they work at the rock. Okay, so these are people that work here. Cool. That's actually interesting that they decided to think of that. All right, how the hell? Ah, the new deputy. Take care of yourself out there. Just making my way. Downtown, walking fast. <laughs> I don't know where the. F the mayor's all right. Always painting too rosy a picture about. Him. Not really. Uh, is this the infirmary. Okay. How the hell do I get up there to the marshal? Work hard, play hard. Was it maybe in here? No. Okay, it's a supply closet. Did I just not look somewhere? Okay, yeah, I know. Uh, the answer is the door is not hidden. I am just a moron. So glad we glad we figured that out. We know that now. It's really an honor to be able to help out. I think it's strange that no other job exists in this place other than floor sweeper. I feel like there should at least be one or two more career paths in this place. I mean, look, man, we're in the rock. If we want people sweeping floors all day, we'll get a servitor. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off their land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Well, Miss Wagoner is safe. That's the important thing. For the time being, yes. But she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Well, they were tough and well-armed. Probably mercenaries. If that's true... Then someone must have hired them. Oh. Now, did yeah. you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Well, let's give them the slate and say, 
They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Oh, jeez. Could those men be veterans from the First Cavalry? I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Well, what happened at the Battle of Nero? The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. Hmm. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. They court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Hmm. So what was the Colony War? The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Hmm. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other. And countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. Well, finding the starship thief that those men hired was our is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. Hmm. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Well, let's ask about the Council of Governors. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The Council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Huh. Well, that makes sense. What can you tell me about Ron Hope? Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Well, then that won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. Understood. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Well, looks like Emma Wilcox is no longer following us. And we uh, got that job done. So, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to save. And next episode, we're going to start looking into, based on what we have here, we can either, yeah, go to Polvo. But we're going to talk to some of the other rangers here at the rock there's a couple of them kind of milling about so what we're going to do next episode is chit chat with them and then we're going to go to polvo speak to ranger nia kalua or kula i forget exactly what her name was and then go meet ron hope the president of hope tech uh we've been to hope town before on polvo uh at least i believe we've been there i'm pretty sure we've been there on this character so once that's done, we're going to get looking into this a little bit more, see what we can find out about this first cavalry and what we can find out about the missing Hope Tech starship. And if he's on the Council of Governors for the Free Star Collective, then he's a pretty important feller. Now, all that being said, if you enjoyed this, maybe, just maybe, drop on down there, give me a like, 
maybe give me your subscription, subscribe, por favor. And if you didn't like it, feel free to leave me a dislike. You're not going to offend me. But if you do leave a dislike, I'd like you to go down there in the comments and tell me what it is that you didn't like. Did you not like me? Did you not like my presentation? Do you not like the game? Is there something else that I failed to take into account? But more than any of that, if none of that is your jam, then I am just so thrilled that you are taking the time out of your Wednesday to sit here and game with me. And I will see you next time in the Starfield.